Hello everybody on the internet and welcome to Sima Host TV, which is my channel. At Sima Host TV, we talk about uh, importing goods from China. We talk about making money online. We talk about making money offline. So briefly, we talk about money. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about why you should be in business. Okay, we're going to talk about why you should be in business. So it doesn't matter where you're watching me from. If you're watching me from Canada, because I'm in Montreal, Canada here. If you're watching me now, um, thank you for watching. Uh, just if it's your first time on this channel, just hit a thumbs up. Go down to the uh, subscribe button. Just click on subscribe now and then click on the notification bell so that next time you'll be notified when I make new videos. Now, if you're watching me from around the world, uh, this qualifies only people that speak English, and uh, that's why I'm doing this video in English. As you see currently, I am in my shop at the moment. You can see behind me there are a whole bunch of uh, uh, wigs. We have jewelry on the other side. And um, probably before the end of the video, maybe I may turn the camera around. Then you can see we have clothes over there. And also we have mobile accessories in the, um, on the shelves. And I would like to say this because the subject for this video is why you should be in business. Okay. The reason why you should be in business, number one, you will be the boss. Okay. If you are sick and tired of being bossed around by other people, I will encourage you to get in business for yourself. Okay? So that's number one, to be your own boss. And number two, you're going to decide exactly when to operate your business. It means the time at which you're going to operate your business. Now, I have a brick and mortar store here. This is my store. And not long ago, I bought the building, okay? I've been doing business in this place for the last nine years, going to 10 years now. And I have finally been able to buy the building. Now the building belongs to, uh, to me. And my family, of course. Now, a big disclaimer. I would like to let you know, whoever is watching, I'm not here to impress upon anybody of the subject of I'm better than you or I know more than you. No, I'm not in that kind of an impression. I'm here to impress upon you the idea that you can start your business and be financially responsible in terms of building something consistent and something solid that will help you all along the way. As you work your business, the longer you stay in the business, the more experienced you become. And the more experienced you become, you will learn better ways of how you can save money First, you'll be making money. Secondly, you'll be learning how to save the money. And you, third, you'll be learning how to also uh, multiply the money. Okay? So you have to make your money grow. So the reason to be in business is that you're going to determine also what kind of a work ethic you're going to put into your business for it to prosper, for it to succeed. Because when you're working for somebody else, somebody else is determining how much you can earn. So it means you're capped in terms of earnings, okay? Because somebody else decides how much they're going to pay you. Let's say they're going to, here in Quebec, for example, the minimum wage is $12.50 at the moment, as we speak in 2019. We are in uh, October 2019, the minimum wage in Quebec is $12.50. Now, there is no way that you can make more than $12.50 when you're working for somebody else. It means 
that's one of the reasons why you have to be in business for yourself because you can determine how much you want to earn per hour. And the more knowledge you have and apply it will help you to earn more than $12.50 an hour. All right? So, once again, you'll be your own boss. So you decide. Nobody will boss you around. Number two, you're going to determine the hours that you want to work. When exactly you start working for yourself and when exactly do you finish working for yourself. Because... As you no longer are paid per hour, it means that time is not of really value in terms of how much you get paid per hour because you can decide to make $100 an hour, you can decide to make $50 an hour, you can decide to make $900 an hour. Like last time, I went to the notary. You know, when I bought this building here, right? I went to the notary and uh, the notary actually in an hour, in an hour, because it's her business. She's in her office, running her own paperwork and stuff, and I paid $900 plus tax and fees. $900 for the notary plus tax and fees. So it came around to, let's say, 1250 right? 1250 so. Let's count only the $900. You see, she is in the business for herself, but she can make $900 an hour. Now imagine if she was working for somebody else. There is no way, no way in life, ever, when somebody will be there and pay her $900 an hour. It will never happen. Not on my watch. Maybe in the future generation. where they can pay somebody $900 an hour as you're working for somebody. That's impossible. So the reason to be in business for yourself, you can decide how much you want to pay yourself, how much you want to earn. And it's not capped per hour. You can make more than you want. Where else when you're working for somebody else, you cannot. Now, the other Thing or the other reason why you should be in business for yourself, it's because of the tax advantages. When you are in business, the government rewards you by giving you tax breaks. Okay? I repeat again. There is, the reason why you have to be again in business is because of the tax advantages. When you are an employee, you're just paying taxes to the government. Where else, when you are in business for yourself, the government is giving you tax breaks. It means you pay the tax, but they return it to you in another form. I will explain in details maybe later because that's another subject. When we talk about taxation alone, that's another subject for another day. Like here in Canada, in Quebec specifically, the government wants you to be in business. The government encourages people to be in business. The government is supporting people who are in business. It doesn't matter if it's a small or medium-sized business. It doesn't matter if it's a big business. It doesn't matter if it's a mega business, all right? So, but you have to be in business. You know, people who are getting richer and richer and richer, these are people who are in business, not the people who are working a job. You know? I don't know if you know Larry Ellison, the founder of Oracle, the database software company. He's uh, actually running his own business. The famous Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook, he's running his business. Warren Buffett, the first and the very intelligent in terms of his number one 
in financial investments, okay? When we talk about investments, everybody sees Warren Buffett. He's the role model. He's running his own business. When I talk about business, it actually entails all the businesses that that person is running. When we talk about Bill Gates of Microsoft, he's running his own foundation, which is his business. And he's still running as maybe uh, a boy. He's on the board of directors at Microsoft, the company that he founded. Okay? So he's running his business. We're talking about Elon Musk. All these people that I'm citing here, if you don't know them, go Google them. Larry Ellison, Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, Elon Musk of Tesla, Larry Page and Sergey Brin of Google, and the list continues. All right? So we can even talk about uh, the president of the United States right now, Mr. Trump. He's made his fortune in business. So it doesn't matter. He's the president of the United States right now, but he doesn't need the money. The salary they can pay him as a president, he doesn't need that money because he's already a multi-billionaire, right? So he's a billionaire, multi-billionaire, two, mil two billion, three billion, it depends, all right? So I'm just citing those. And there's Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos is running his own business, mega business, which we call Amazon. So if you want to know the owner of Amazon, his name is B Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos, that's the owner of Amazon. And the list goes on and on and on. The list continues. So that's why I'm encouraging you, if you want to grow bigger, if you want to be bigger financially, if you want to bridge the gap from where you are and where you want to go, I encourage you to start a business, all right? If you stay just a simple worker, working 9 to 5 or maybe working 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning, if you're working in a factory, if you remain there, your fate is already done. Your fate is already decided. And the financial future for you are very obscure if you remain there. So I encourage you to get out. Think big. Read books. Start with a book that they call The Magic of Thinking Big. Okay? And then you have books like... Uh, Think and Grow Rich. You have books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad. You have books like The 4-Hour Work. There are different books that you can read that will coach you. If you still need a helping hand, you can consult with me. Ten years I started, as you can see, right? These are real. These are real products. They come from China. I resell them here in Canada, all right? Now we're partnering up with uh, Amazon in terms of affiliate marketing. We're partnering with uh, Western Union in terms of uh, money transfers, right? So as you can see, the things that I'm talking about, these are serious stuff, you know? So as you remain in business, you'll continue to think of how you can become better. Now, when I talk about Western Union, let me show you something. I'm going to show you a sign here. Okay, let me show you this. You see? Look at this. You see this one? What does it say? You see? Western Union, right? This is a this is a this is a sign. It's lit right now, right? In in yellow, yellow color. So this is just to tell you that we're partnering up with companies 
These are reputable companies. And only if you're serious, then you can continue to improve. Your level will continue to go up and up and up and up. All right? So I encourage you to get into business. I'll come back on the camera. I'm putting this sign just down for now. All right, so as you can see, starting your own business, it's not easy, but it's worth it, whether you want to do it as a brick and mortar store, as I'm doing it right here, if you want to do it online, the best thing is just to start. Start your own business. If you're working for somebody else at the moment, also start a business on the side. All right? If you're working for somebody else, also it's very urgent to think of a plan B or a plan C Starting your own business will align you with the trajectory of success. Starting your own business will align you with the trajectory of financial success. You start your business, you work at it step by step. The more you persevere, the more discipline you put into it, the more endurance, you, you know. So, the longer you stay into the business, the longer you decide to do it consistently. Day after day after day, you learn, you improve. I tell you, the rewards are high. The rewards are very, very high. So the trajectory for your financial success will be improving. It can only go up as you gain more experience. So that's what I had to share with you today. The reason why you should start your own business, work at it step by step. The more experience you gain, the more knowledgeable you become, the more money you will make and the more your future will be better, financially speaking. So do it today. Do it for yourself because it matters. Do it for your family because it's urgent. And do it because you need freedom, which we call financial freedom. It means you earn as much money as you can so that you can do whatever you want. All right? And you can say, I did it. Take care of yourself. I wish you all the prosperity possible. If you have any questions, or if you like what I've just discussed with you in this video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment below. Also subscribe to the channel, to this channel, See My House TV channel. And uh, this is also how, if you comment and share, you actually help us with the YouTube algorithm. So we thank you in advance. Take care.